What's up, Blockheads? This is Fitch Lions here. I am going to place a little bit of uh, Infamy Reloaded 3.0 here. This is one of my buddies' um, Technic Pack uh, mod packs here. And I think they're actually on. Um, I, I can't remember what that's called. I think it's. Uh, whatever the other launcher <laughs> is, I can't remember at the moment. But uh, yeah, it's just some modded Minecraft, and they have an official server and everything. Really cool modded pack. Um, definitely check it out. I'll have the links down below. But uh, we're going to start doing a little Let's Play on here. Maybe I'll get a couple of the guys on. So let's dive into it. Yeah, a lot of this has changed since the last time I was on here, but it looks pretty awesome still. Pretty nice. Alright, what is this? Crates. Uh, warp wild. First thing you always want to do on these survival servers is see if there's any um, kits for tools. No, no. Maybe not. Oh, there we go. Kit list. All right. Okay, so I guess you can like stay, start off with some iron armor or whatever. Yeah, at least you get a gun. Decent. Oh, does that actually tell you like how much damage it does per two out of two hearts? And then I don't know what the me is that maybe that's like a melee thing if you hit it negative ninety five. I am not sure exactly how that works, but it looks like it kind of tells you the amount of damage it does. See if anybody on here wants somebody to join him. Um, well, let's just do. guess we're not going to get as lucky to get anybody to take us in that quick. Um, only Grievance I'm going to state right now. Turner, if you ever watch this, is uh, where the hell is my axe? Why didn't I start off with an axe? Time for this breaking down trees shenanigans <laughs> whatever I'm getting up with uh, get some tools going before we go underground it always seems like on these survival ser or uh, not survival like these like faction member servers like uh, or faction V faction PvP servers whatever you want to call them you can never really build anything above ground because it just gets destroyed and raided so quickly I know that's like, I guess like that's the ultimate noob move, but I, I've always wanted to just build like a big base above ground that's somehow defendable. I just don't know how I would go about doing that yet. But uh, let's uh, venture off here. This thing actually works pretty well. Alright. There we go. All right, it's convenient. You don't really even have to aim this thing. I don't know why the pigs are all black over here, but whatever. It looks like somebody's been over here. There's not any sand and a bunch of cobble. I wonder if these other people are online or if they're just AFKs.
Alright. Now we're just gonna find a livable biome. Somewhere that we'd actually want to live in. What is this? Berries? Ooh. Oh yeah, give me those berries. Oh look, a village, which has probably been absolutely destroyed. Oh yeah. Bad news for them. This looks like even worse than normal. I think somebody bombed this thing out. Oof. Alright, alright. Um. I feel like we should try to, like, live around somewhere that I could, like... It's just like when people have already been there, you know, somebody might actually live over here already. I don't know. Okay, so let's just go find an island. You don't have access to do this? I don't have access to play, place a crafting board? Ooh. Oh, this is all claimed land? Jesus. How big can claims get on here? Is this all claimed land? Or am I just happen to be standing in like that one chunk that was claimed? Okay. Yeah. We were just standing in one area of claimed land. Okay. pretty damn fast. I actually haven't played on a server that's updated enough um, that the boat has like the little oars on it. I don't know, is that... That's, that's a vanilla feature, I think. I don't know. Ugh. What the fuck is that? There's a bunch of fucking coral down there. That looks interesting. Alright. The Escobro is liking what he sees here. We're seeing some ice and some snow. Oh, yeah, baby. We're getting near a biome that I could be living in. Let's see if we found our own little winter wonderland. I'm thinking we did. It's looking like we're about to settle down somewhere up here. I feel like that's all connected to that big old continent, though. Hmm, hmm. I don't know.
Yeah, you know what? We're gonna live up here with these big, in this big uh, winter forest. I don't even think that was very far from where I was without the boat, but all good. There's already a crafting table over here, so somebody either took off from here. Or... Yes, people have been living here, but that's fine. We gonna start living here now. Beautiful. Well, this will be our little homestead spot. Let's uh, get this thing going. Yeah. Uh. Freaking relentless zombies, man. You don't even have to aim this thing at all. <laughs> it just like hits dead center each time. Wonder how like accurate it is like long range. Oh, this is yeah. Beautiful. I wonder if this thing does not slap against armor though. I feel like you get a guy going with some armor, you'd be done. Now for the fun part, we're gonna actually get the little base going here. I never liked digging out like big parts, but whatever. I think we're gonna go for like a really newbie style thing. Like I'm just gonna like build up this whole island. Just see if somebody eventually finds me on here. It doesn't seem like there's a ton of people on really. But hopefully that changes. And just keep going and get this base beautiful. Oh, we did start off with some torches, look at that. My beautiful little hole in the ground. Hmm. Look at all that coal. What the heck is that? If you press, if you press B, I think you're. Oh look at that! Your dude just starts ripping. All right. Clay. You know, I've never really seen like a good purpose for clay, except for with those. Um. I don't know. I don't. I think it's modular turrets, but. It's the one that you have to actually use the clay to uh, make the hard wall. It's like the only time I've ever really found clay useful in a mod pack. But then it becomes such a pain to actually make that like top tier hard wall, which is like the defense block. Like it's like real explosive proof. Um, yeah, it's just annoying to try to find it, but it looks like it's not going to be too bad on this. Hopefully... It isn't something that we're going to have to run into often, or very soon, I'm sure. I don't think we're going to be building the hard wall in the next day or so. It's going to be crazy. Alright, let's throw all this crap in here. I need that. Oh. So, you know, I always wonder, like... Do a lot of people like hit the uh, F9 here? I don't. I think this is a mod. I'm not even sure if that's part of an all or not. But you know, like, do you build the chunk? Because 
when you're uh, playing on the faction servers where you have to actually claim your land and everything, it's always good to build your base to chunk here. It's like one of those real basic things that, um, I mean, a lot of people know that, but if you don't, there you go. There's a little tip pointer. Uh, these, like, this uh, little green, these green blocks here are uh, kind of outlining the chunk, and you'll see the rest of it once I get this all mined out here. But, uh, get the corner mined out. Yep. Mm hmm. Good old survival. I was doing a let's play on, uh, I think it was like FTAM. And uh, I really liked, I used to really like to play that server with um, a couple friends of mine, but the reason I'm jumping, I haven't, I just haven't had time to do this with like work and everything, but also, um, I just, I just, I couldn't play on that server anymore, the, uh, I had like a couple of the staff like just constantly killing me, it was, it wasn't a little, more than unfair, I would, I didn't like playing that there where <laughs> anymore with their guys it was just it wasn't what it used to be I had some kid that would just sit there and spawn kill me the whole time and say like, uh, I can't I can't do this can't do this for an extended period of time let's set home in here real quick There we go. Yeah, so, okay, this this is what I was talking about earlier, though. So, like, if you want to build your base to chunk, like, um, what that means is, like, each one of the, like, chunks you can claim, which is 64 by 64 blocks, I believe, or maybe it's 32 by 32, I, I don't know. I might be wrong. It's one of those two. But, anyway, uh, these, like, red lines are going to be, like, the corners of uh, the claim. And then this and this are, um, this is like a one wall of the claim, and that's another wall. And then it just makes a big cube. But you'll know when you have it all the way mined out, because you'll see these green sides. And then um, you'll see this, uh, these red lines in the corners of each one of the, yeah, the red lines in the corner of each part of the claim. So that's how you know you're building successfully to chunk there. No. Um, foodless in a hole with, uh, oh, actually, I do have some food. Lacking some tools here. Gotta come up on the iron. Alright, um... You know what I've really never, um... Really glad that you never have to deal with anymore on these servers. Is at least with like the starter tools, uh, you never have to go back to like a uh, wooden pickaxe. It's things like the wooden tools are just so useless, it's just so annoying. <laughs> like when somebody makes you actually have to make the um, the wood pick, you're like, ah, oh, bastard. But uh. I mean, part of that too, though, it makes the game a little more fun. Like, um, said uh, the mod uh, mod pack is that RL Craft. That looks pretty cool. I've seen a couple other YouTubers do stuff like that. And then, um, you have, it's just so hard to even get a start on that. You have to like find uh, gravel and get some flint from there, and then break the flint, and then uh, use that to make some kind of thing to get stone and. It's like a whole process to get anything really going. I think that would make for a cool start to these like survival uh, factions games. But the problem though, 
Like, when you build something like that, where it's, like, super hard to start off in, like, a factions map, is, um, when you have, like, these time gaps between when a certain faction joined and when a new group joins, it's just, like, it's so hard for that newer group to, like, catch up and be able to, like, adequately defend themselves and fight off or even, like, raid and attack other groups when uh, these other groups have been on here so much longer and they've got so much work stuff and just really makes it uh, it's difficult to balance that kind of gameplay with these things you can tell but Turner I know him well and he's uh, he's one of the owners here uh, he's really into uh, making sure everything's balanced pretty well so I know that we'll at least have a a fighting chance at finding some of their groups and raiding them and hopefully not being found but I kind of want to just like do some kind of like really cool like build above like my land but I know that that's kind of moronish or it's, it's, it's idiotic of me <clears throat> but I don't know um I don't know, is this, uh, the marble is, okay, that's part of chisel. I think that's one of the really cool mods that, um, you can have on these packs, because, like, I know when it comes to factions, it's all about, you know, like, the best way to defend your base, and, like, you know, you gotta make it super impossible for people to raid and all that good jazz, but there's something just so, like, rewarding about building like a really cool detailed base like actually like having like a nice design floor and walls and like a cool chest room just like the details of like building something is I think that's like the fun of um I don't know like uh, that's what I enjoy the most honestly is like I really like building things but it has to be like from me doing survival stuff like I like building stuff, but I can't like sit there and creative. It just it doesn't feel the same amount of uh, sad. There's not yeah. There's not the same amount of satisfaction when you're building something in a uh, creative mode. And like I like building it on these uh, survival servers because like you know there's you get the chance uh, for somebody else to come see what you've built, but also it's at risk to be destroyed. And I think that's all the fun of it. You don't like take your Legos and super glue them together so nobody can ever mess with them again. You know, like if stuff's gonna get knocked over and busted or some other people are gonna mess with it and play with it, that's what kinda makes it fun. Like you don't wanna just build something that's untouchable but in by anyone else. So, like who's gonna like sit there and look at like screenshots of your builds unless you like uh actually are like some insane builder, which I'm not. <laughs> I'd like to think my stuff's cool, but it's, it's pretty basic. <laughs> but uh, I, I like knowing that somebody got to at least see what I did before they blew it to hell. Man, we're really not finding any iron in this little area. I don't know if we're not at like the light right level for it yet or what, but we are iron poor, my friends. And the only chest I've built is, like, completely out of the protection of the chunk that I was going to claim. It, look, uh, when I did the F map, though, it didn't look like it showed, um, claims. I don't know if that's disabled. I'll have to ask Turner later. I don't, I don't know if there's no F map or what. But honestly, if there isn't, that's kind of cool, because... That's, like, a real easy scam way to, like, find... Especially if people don't know about it. Like, you just hit that F map on, and it shows everybody's claim. Then you can just walk until you find a claim, and then walk around their claim until you find, like, a weakness and blow right through the ground. Oh, look at that. I spoke too early. There's some iron. And, like, the thing with that is, yeah, I, I, I get it. It's part of the strategy of, like, raiding with the factions plugin, but... It, it's it's not it's like you have to 
be able to defend the entire like main home chunk and you're not going to be able to do that right away so of course there's going to be some kind of exploitable weakness in the defenses of somebody that's like starting off and so like I think the F map is kind of a little bit of a cheaters method there hopefully um hopefully that's disabled I don't know I, th I think it is cuz I, I when we were over in that other area in the beginning looking for a place to stay it didn't look like there was um it, it didn't show like the actual claims like on the map I thought like the entire map was like a claim but it doesn't look like it shows it like so like where that um where those slashes are there on the factions map usually that the slashes mean that there's um that there's claimed land like this is like a claim and then I think it's like straight bars or there's like an x whatever unclaimed or unclaimed or claimed or I, I'm not exactly sure, but I, I know there's some kind of indication. I, usually it's the slashes that are the actual faction land. This little plus is me, so that's where I am relative to the faction map, but I don't think there is actually like faction land that's showable, which is kind of a cool twist on it. It makes it a little bit harder for people to raid and a little bit easier for people to hide, which is nice. Look at that, we're going to be back up to the Iron Age here in a minute. Beautiful. Alright. Cobblestone not painted. I'm guessing that's going to be part of some mod that I'm unfamiliar with. Hmm. You know what I honestly really think is cool is, uh, like, when you're playing um, on these mod packs and there's a bunch of, like, different ores that you never see, like, from, like, versus, like, the vanilla. Like, I think it's really cool to have, like, ten different types of, like, ore. Even if some of our repeats, like, you have, like, two t types of copper or something like that. Um, I think it's just really cool to see like a bunch of different ore because like that's what the whole thing is it's minecraft like you're supposed to be mining most of the time and yeah sometimes I don't enjoy mining as much as I guess I should but it's still like one of those big parts of the game like that it's got to be done right all right And, uh, I don't know, like, I don't, do you think they're ever gonna, like, update the cave system and, like, the mining? It's like, I mean, it's the whole concept of the game, and it really hasn't seen any action in the last couple years, so. Hopefully they, uh, start updating a lot more frequently with Minecraft, because it just doesn't seem like it, it, it lost a lot of hype, because they just kind of left it alone for so long. There was so much they could have done with it, and they didn't. I really hope that they start picking up on that and uh, get something better going here. I wonder if I have any sticks or if I used them all in those. I made like 60 pick A. Okay, cool. Hmm. Uh, this even has like the little sorting. Um, mod on there that's nice makes it uh, decent all right we're gonna get some shovels going here make our life a little bit easier good old stone shovels Neanderthal ancestors would be proud of us all right Well, we have like a this is a pretty decent start. We got coal and a hole dug out in the ground. Beautiful. All 
I wonder if they have quarries in this, uh, I don't know if you guys have ever played with, like, I know there's, like, some kind of quarry in, um, what's it called, it's, like, uh, Ender I.O. or something like that, I've never messed with that, but my, my favorite quarries were always those build craft quarries, if you guys ever played on any mod packs or played around with the build craft mod, like, the, those quarries are so cool just because they use those old school, like, pipes from that mod and everything. And you can see, like, the items, like, going through the, uh, piping as they, like, leave the quarry and everything. And it, like, physically builds a quarry that, like, mines out the ground. It's not just, like, a block that, like, slowly removes, like, blocks from the ground. Like that, uh, like that digital miner from Mechanism that, like, pumps all the ore out of the ground. I mean, that's cool and all, but it's just, like, it seems like, uh... It doesn't have the same effect. I like the aesthetic of the other uh, quarry there from Buildcraft. But I'm going to try to start putting up some more content at least one, one or two videos a week. Uh, I know I've been like super busy and I really want to get this like YouTube thing started because I was... Uh, playing games, I was like, you know what, I might as well record myself, I like to talk, <laughs> hopefully not really talk to myself, but <laughs> I do like to to play a lot of games, so I might as well make it entertaining for somebody else, or uh, maybe even get some views off of it, but we'll see, we'll see where that goes, but that way it doesn't seem like it's an entire waste of time when I'm just goofing off playing games on here. Alright, get some all of our coal going here. So, um, right on here, like, okay, now you guys can see, like, kind of like what I was talking about earlier, is those, like, red lines in each one of the corners, like, indicate, like, what the chunk is. So, like, we've fully cleared out, like, this one, well, I wouldn't say we cleared the whole chunk out, because this thing goes all the way up to the sky, and then all the way down to bedrock. Um, which hopefully it's flat bedrock. I don't like that uh, that groovy stuff. But, um, yeah, so anyway, now let's say we want to claim this. We would just, like, F. Oh, I think we have to make a faction first. Um, F create, maybe. Okay, there we go. That's how we do it. What should we name ourselves? Lionica. That's my go-to, usually. F create Lionica. Oh wait, tag and then faction name. Lionica. Um, can it be the same thing twice? But I don't. I don't really want to tag. I don't know what that means. Five characters. Lions. There we go. So now I have my own faction. F claim one. I mean, I don't know if we should even, like, really. Okay. Just F claim. See, like, if that faction map thing is on here and it works, and I don't know how that works, if I'm doing the faction map wrong, now people can, like, just hit the F map. Well, let's, let's test that right now. See if we can see, maybe it's different with your own claimed land. Alright, slash F. Map. Oh, see, yeah, that, that green little plus is my faction on the map there. But, I didn't see the other people's faction when I tried to, you know, we're just going to leave it claimed for now. We might have to be building another base later in this let's play, but hopefully we'll have better gear by then if we do get raided, but it looks like at the moment you can only see your own faction claim, which is awesome. Good news for us. Alright, 
it. Yeah, I think we're just gonna go for like a really newbie design on this, so I'm sure somebody's gonna come kick our shit in. Or I don't know if I should say that, but as soon as they come beat the hell out of this base, I'm sure at some point here, because I just wanna like I wanna go with some old cobble walls. I'm gonna make it a little noob fort for now. See if we can gather some resources from here, maybe move on to like a better spot, or maybe if we last here, we'll uh, we'll actually um, what am I trying to say here? We'll actually uh, just rebuild the area, beef up the base, as one would say, get that beef going. Oh yeah. I'm still amazed we like ran into clay so easily. I wonder if clay just like randomly spawns on here. And I wonder how this mod pack handles the gunpowder because I know you have to have a lot of gunpowder for like the flans weapons and for like the explosives and everything so maybe there's like mine chem or I don't remember if what he had in here. Is there a way, maybe there's a way with mechanism to make gunpowder? Possibly. Possibly. Don't remember for sure. Of course, in my intelligent self, built the entire chest outside of the uh, thing. Oh well. Alright. Oh yeah, this is gonna be a bougie new base. We're gonna we have those beautiful cobble walls and some wood floors. Yeah, look at that. I don't know. I think there's something like so entertaining about finding ore. Just being able to mine that ore. Mm. And then especially just like the different types of stuff. Like, I mean, you we all know what coal is, but then like there's like this copper and stuff, like stuff that you wouldn't normally see. And there's usually just like a lot more things to mine with the mods, like but not only you just you're running into like the same like three four different ores that you can mine and it's just I don't know it gets boring this spices it up a little bit yeah this thing really goes on here for a minute and like normally you wouldn't want to like mine all around your claim it makes it easier for people obviously to find a way to blast into here, but we're really not worried about security at this point. Um, I just kind of want to get a little base established to get things started. We'll probably, honestly, like, um, if we don't get raided, which I know when I do these Let's Plays, like the last time I did, um, I mean, I built, like, an obnoxious cobblestone, like, fortress above, uh, my base. <laughs> so, I mean, I was pretty much bound to get raided on there, but, um, people really took the effort from watching my video to, like, come and raid me, so we'll, you know, we'll see if that's what happens on this. But, um, hopefully we can just build this one base and not have to worry about it for now and then uh, we'll uh, we'll upgrade like selling our first house here pretty much we do need to get some more wood before I like bury myself underneath um, 
or dig down too deep and pretty much get buried here. I wonder like how far away are we from the surface? Loamy dirt. Good old loamy dirt. It's real sad stuff it looks like. Okay. Oh, good news. Look at that, we got neighbors. Alright. <clears throat> oh, what do you mean? Breaking the dirt with my hand even though I have a shovel. Little caveman brain. Alright. Oh, you know what? I don't... Did we leave any wood to make? Damn it. Damn you, Turner, for not putting axes in the starter kit. Kinda sick. Man, are you. He's a sadist. Just likes to see us suffer. No axes. So disappointing. This is interesting, like, do the trees, like, grow like this all the time, or is that, like, is that a modded feature? I think I'm impressed by, like, the smallest things in this game, which is probably why a game of blocks still entertains me. Oof. Simple-minded man. <clears throat> What kind of work? Fur wood. Yeah, let's uh, let's turn that into planks. But let's get some of those axes going. There you go. That should be plenty. Oh, look at that! Server will be restarting in ten minutes. I guess that's where we'll cut the end of the first part of this video. Oh, wait, what the hell am I doing? <laughs> I'm throwing the wood in there when I have all this other <laughs> shit I can use. Moron. There we go. Alright. Yeah, look at all this clay, man. If clay is valuable, then we are rich men. But I really highly doubt. It's probably just a wild goose chase at this point. I really feel like... I'm gonna have to look at that in the recipes. Um, let's make some chests, but... Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's those, uh... Those hardwall... The hard walls, or I don't know. It used to be ICBM when I originally played this. That had like the best offensive wall, and it was like the reinforced concrete and all that good jazz. But I don't think they. I don't think that's the best thing that's available on the server. I'm pretty sure it's like. See, I feel like. Let's be classy. Let's have that uh, that four high wall, and then we'll just make the ceilings one more taller. For the first floor. Alright. Start making our uh, beautiful design here. I'm like usually like the really organized guy, but right now we just want to move all this shit.
You know what would help all this? A freaking axe. A freaking axe that should have been in the starter pack. Turner. You sick nihilist bastard. I want everybody that watches this to to DM Turner about why in like in detail spam him if you have to. Make sure he knows that he messed up by not putting an axe in the starter kit. I want angry people after Turner on this. Alright. Let's see. <laughs> As if I have like any more than like four people that'll ever watch this. Um, okay. Oh, you know what? I bet. I wonder if this has like the the tree chopper mod. Is it like? Yeah, it does. Yeah, buddy. Oh my god, life just got real easy. Oh, what the hell? It didn't. It didn't chop like all the, like the the side of the wood. I don't know how to explain the. Uh, it didn't chop all the like the inner pieces. Oh, <laughs> just stop. Chop straight up. Oh, well, that doesn't really help. Let's see if this, like, big one will come down, or if it just, like, cuts one section of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but see, like, now there's this big... It only goes so far, apparently. Oh, and then it... Oh, no, I was... Sprouting the wrong way. Let's get those valuable saplings. Well, then... Murray Pinewood. It's kind of cool. There's a bunch of different types of trees. Five minutes. Oh, it's even got like a little countdown on there. You know, props to those little details. That's really cool. I have no clue how to program any of that. So, good job, Turner. There's cool little features. There you go. See, I, that's what I wanted. I just wanted my trees to go away. Now I'm gonna have like all these weird things that I'm. It's gonna bug me, and then I'm gonna have to go up there and cut them down myself. All right. Oh, Brad. All right. Four minutes and eight seconds until we gotta get or well it starts over and then we can just get back on here but that's where I'm gonna cut the video at the end of the server restarting but uh like I said if you guys got this far in um I am gonna link Turner's mod pack the discord all that good jazz in there and then I'll link my YouTube discord or anything like that if you guys ever do want to communicate with me or have any ideas join my faction we're gonna, we're gonna rule this server <laughs> in like a day. Alright. Um Yeah. But yeah, no, this uh this mod pack is really cool. I know Turner used to play when we played on all of the um old infamy servers. If any of you guys ever watched this that did used to play infamy, I mean it's been years, like I must have been like twenty twelve to like twenty 14 2015 when they were out still I don't I think that was like the time period. it's like it's been like five years it's been a long time we we used to play Minecraft in high school like it's it's been a while since Technic was even a popular thing but I really I'd really like to see a lot more people back on Technic instead of um I think it's it's Twitch that's what I was thinking earlier I know Twitch and um, CurseForge like teamed up and like they have a bunch of but they have their own launching platform and all that and mod packs but I don't know I think that I've always just been loyal to Technic because it was it was like that first memory of like a cool 
um, experience for Minecraft be besides like the vanilla, the whole vanilla deal. Look at that, there's some iron. But yeah, I don't know. I uh, hopefully we can grow this server population. Be doing some more mod reviews. I I have to finish this mod review that I've been working on for like a month. It's just been like there's been no progress made on it. It would take all of five minutes. I think I'll do that eventually. Here, you guys can check out some mine traps. I'll link that video on here and the second part of this let's play. Let's see here. Okay. Gotta make it look beautiful, you know? If we're gonna if we're gonna noob this out, we're gonna make this the most eccentric noob base that ever was built. Oh shit. And then we're gonna fall in a hole first. Have you guys ever, like, been digging out, like, a huge base, and, like, you forget, like, one layer or something, like, in the middle there, and you have to go up and mine it off, and then you, like, fall, like, 30 blocks, and, like, you're just dead, and then it's even worse, though, when you do that, and, like, you have, like, a bunch of valuables on you, and, and there's, like, a server, like, a leg, yeah, like, so, like, this 30-second clear leg thing, like, <laughs> and all of your items despawn off your body, and you're, like, Mother, <laughs> it's it's the worst. I uh, I've done that to myself a couple times. I'm not a genius, <laughs> but yeah, that that's a painful experience. All right, well, um, if you enjoyed this, you know, like and subscribe. I'm gonna make a second well i'm gonna make a bunch of these because i'm gonna be playing on this a lot with my free time here but uh we're gonna do a whole let's play series on this server so check out the next one this is fitch lines reminding you to